our money. We achieved great progress with great training over the past uh, two weeks. Um, in the morning, I'm giving them the breakfast in the crates, and then uh, they stay there locked for about four to five hours and just sleep and chill out. And uh, they, we had no problems. Uh, at first, there was a little bit of whining, but uh, you can tell if it's just a slight um, frustration or if it's a full-blown stress. And obviously, in our case, it was just... Um, just a little winch, nothing special, so I just ignored them and let them settle. And uh, now they are happy to stay in the crates and sleep for quite a few hours, which is great. To assist with that, ideally, with my dogs, we lock them in a separate room so that they're not distracted by us doing some activities or the noises or maybe people coming over uh, with them because they're in the open setting. We cannot do that, but... Uh, we still achieve a little bit of privacy with just putting a screen um, across the enclosure so that at least they can't see us, they can still hear everything. We still don't want to give them absolute silence because it's just not realistic. You still want them to be comfortable with noises and just still uh, being happy to calm down and rest. We just do all our normal activities. There's always noise in the kitchen. We move across the, the hallway. Um, but because they can't see us, they can't interact with us, they're happy to just stay in their beds and uh, sleep or chill out. Here's the summary of my approach. I started feeding them in their crates, but I didn't close the door initially. Then I started closing the door while they were eating and opened it soon while they still stay calm. I made sure I make it part of our routine uh, and uh, made sure that the dogs were um, walked, had exercise, went to the toilet and were not hungry. And they were pretty much ready for some quiet time. I also always left some chew in the crate. Uh, we also tried to place the crate in the secluded location um, and cover it. And in our uh, case, I was partitioning it off to ensure the dog could not see me. Uh, I also didn't place any fancy beds uh, in the crates initially uh, because I was concerned that they might chew them through. Uh, and only when uh, I have seen that they stay calm in the crates, uh, I introduced uh, some nice comfy beds. Obviously, in this case, uh, crate training was easy because there were two of them and they could still see each other and smell each other and stay close. But even with a single dog, the approach would still be the same.